So sorry about that. It looks like Endu had uh, crashed there. So um, we we are back here. Uh, so we was creating this and we was just scaling this in and playing around with that. But that's fine. Um, just uh, it's fine. So what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to go ahead and create a new sculpt layer and let that process. And then we're gonna go to B and then we can just we can paint something in here. So if we wanted to. You know, we could say that this is like anything we want. So we could put a signature or something like that. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I'm just sort of making this up. So um, I'm going to say game dev. Just gonna put my YouTube name here, so let's uh, get this right. Game Dev Man, just like this. And if we go over to 3D, we can see the effect that that actually has. Now we need to fix one last thing here before we end this series. So you can see here we have Game Dev Man up here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to be a flat, uh, flat polygon here. So you can see that, yeah, you know, the quality of this is not that good in terms of the brush. Uh, you can sit and uh, make that better if you want. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go and zoom in. Oops. And it looks like I've just opened up 3D again by accident. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in. And on the game devman layer. I keep, if you press the space button, it will load the, the last thing you clicked on uh, here sometimes so I just want to let's see I want to go ahead and smooth this so this is already smooth um, what I can do is I can increase the softness that should help a lot and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different stroke I just want to try and soften this up a little bit so uh, uh, maybe a Gaussian or a rounded curve or just, just something like this um, yeah we can just sort of play around with these settings and get something much better I guess we could uh, decrease the opacity here um, we could set this to like overlay if we wanted to so if we set this to overlay and actually select this and move it so select this and move it Which is not allowing me to do for some reason. Okay, looks like it's created some extra layers that we wasn't working on. Let's click this, let's try it again, let's increase the softness. There we go, so now we're actually getting somewhere. And uh, we could perhaps do something like this. Uh, let's see, let's try that Gaussian over here. Anyway, we can play around with these values and um, like I said, everyone we can go ahead and choose overlay and overlay this information over anything we want. But um, I'm going to leave this to normal. And the last thing we want to do is um, I want to go ahead and fix these areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this right here. And uh, as we finish this normal, I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose merge group. And then if I go over to the channels and I select the green and then I invert that by pressing the left control and I that will invert that selection for us. And we can go all the way back up to IGB and then we can go ahead and we can convert all of this. So um, let's go ahead and select these. All these layers between choose merge layer and if we open up the 3d then we can see the final normal map here there we go so here's our final normal it's very simple very easy um, to create um, and um, this is you know like much faster than actually modeling this in my opinion obviously it's a little bit slowed down for these videos um, so, so you can actually understand how this works. But uh, 
after we've done that we can go ahead and we can generate a bunch of other maps if we'd like to so let's go ahead and I'm gonna merge actually everything here and once we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and generate a bunch of other maps so we can click the file and instead of going to the photo um, the photo normal presets which allows us to generate a normal map based on the photograph we can choose the map converter and then as you can see here we can go ahead and choose any one of these so we can choose height map cavity maps ambient seclusions and diffuse maps and so on and so forth so uh, for example let's go ahead and choose cavity map this might be good for this particular type of um, uh, this particular type of material you see it's going ahead and generated a cavity map and we can go ahead and close this these other things as we don't need them and we can go ahead and generate any map we want so let's go ahead and generate an ambient occlusion and sometimes when we do this uh, we will get options to control the, the value so you can see here in in the ambient occlusion you can see we can change some of these values and make them stronger are weaker and so on and so forth so we can do that if we'd like uh, completely up to you so let's drop this down play around some of these values and something like this looks pretty good and we can just keep doing this for the different types of maps here. so I'm gonna go ahead map converter and so we have a ambient occlusion we have a cavity we can go ahead and generate a specular so let's go ahead and do that and once we've done that we will end this video so with that done i'd like to thank you for watching um please uh, subscribe leave uh please like these videos subscribe if you have any suggestions on future tutorials please feel free to drop them down in the comments and um other than that after this has finished generating i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you next time So here is our final uh, map here. We can go ahead and play around with some of these settings if we'd like. But as I said, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.